Hawks fans love says that's why he thinks today's going to be different. He said we don't have anything yet. We don't have anything. We don't have the South. We don't have the Big 12. If we don't beat these guys we don't have anything. Last year at, when they played Oklahoma State they did have something. Ewan Jones he's got something going today after the 22 yard line Vernon Grant made the stop. Coming up uh, in pro football on Monday night. Should be a pretty good ball game that we're going to have for you on ABC. Tom Brady and the Patriots are atop the AFC East. And Monday night, it'll be the Patriots against Clinton Portis, Shannon Sharp, and the Broncos at Mile High. New England and Denver, Monday night football, 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific on ABC. And Brady's doing a pretty good job warming up for the Patriots, as he did in their Super Bowl season. And Clinton Portis, just one of the best around. Quentin Griffin's a backup for Denver, the former he is, and star they like here in Oklahoma. Stand. But they did a great job with that game last Monday night, didn't they? Moving it from San Diego to uh, Phoenix. There's a kid playing quarterback did a pretty good job for Miami in that game too. Yeah, I didn't know that guy. <laughs> he did all right. Brian Greasy will get his second straight start at quarterback for the Dolphins this weekend, and that's not going to be easy against the Indianapolis Colts. A couple of young puppies that I've known for a long time, Peyton Manning yes, and Brian sir. Greasy. Now they're, yes, they're grown folk now. Yeah, you know the two daddies probably. Yeah, a little bit. Uh -huh. And uh, the other Manning, Eli, had a big game today as Ole Miss beat South Carolina in a high-scoring affair. And uh, John and Terry and Craig will have some highlights from that one, I'm sure. Eli, like Jason White, definitely in the Heisman Trophy picture. <laughs> So far, White today has one touchdown pass at Keem on their last drive. From the 22. Third down at four. Here comes a blitz from the secondary. And it pays off. Except bouncing out is Jason White. Not often do you see Jason running the football because of those, those delicate knees. Look at the smile on his face. Yeah. Kiwan gets hammered here, and Jason White just pulls it right back out. Yeah, that's an option. He has the option to give him the ball depending on the defensive end. If the defensive end is coming down hard and is going to tackle the running back, he doesn't give it to him and takes it himself. Got seven yards on a third and four. You're not going to see that often. They don't want to make that a staple. No. But he did smile and bounced right back up, and now first down at the 29. 38 seconds remaining in the half. Jones is dragged down by Antonio Smith this time. Oklahoma State's going to take another timeout, I think. Well, they had signaled for one, and they haven't taken one. Well, Bob and Grant, you should have seen the smiles on the sideline from the Oklahoma staff and players when the uh, quarterback ran. It was like a pitcher hitting a home run. <laughs> well, they've had a home run through two quarters, that's for sure. They haven't beaten Oklahoma State in the past two years. They know they've got to beat them to get to their goals for this season and through a half. They have done the job, that's for sure. Kewan Jones taking his hat off. He's had a busy first half with two touchdown runs. Jason White has thrown one to Carlos, hit a field goal, and only a field goal to answer for Oklahoma State. They trail 24 to 3. Let's go down to Swan. Well, Coach, when you drew up your game plan this week and you looked at the first half of football, did you see this kind of half that you saw already? Well, we had hoped to. Uh, we figured we could play good defense. We have for a good number of games of it. Not like the first time. And, um, and offensively, we actually felt like we could do a few more things. We ought to be able to throw the ball a little bit better than we have been. When you have that kind of control in the first half of football, how do you keep a young 18, 21 year old's mind in this ball game to keep pouring it on the second half? Well, we got a lot to play for. And, uh, you know, Oklahoma State's a crosstown rival, so uh, that won't be hard to do, I don't think. A little time to make up for a couple of those losses in the past? Well, uh, I guess, you know, we're just trying to win another championship, Lynn. That's what we're after. Okay, Coach. Right. Thanks. Thanks, fellas. Halftime 24 to 3. Oklahoma, the number one team in the country, showing why through two quarters. We'll be joining John Terry and Craig at Times Square Stadium in New York for the Capital One Halftime Show right after this. You're watching ABC Sports Championship Television. The key thing is three sacks. And, two turnovers, and, yeah. and, and the two turnovers. Yeah, they've been sacked three times and that knocked the ball loose one time. But they've done nothing offensively. They've only got 43 yards, the Cowboys, offensively. All of those sacks have come from the guy they call Dangerous Dan. There he is, Cody. All three sacks for Oklahoma. Ronaldo works now into the backfield for Oklahoma. First pass, third quarter's intercepted, touchdown! Darren Williams stepped in front of the intended receiver.
receiver, and just like that, Oklahoma State's back in it. That's his fifth interception for a touchdown in his career. He's Boy. a big play guy. He read that baby like the sports page, didn't he? He saw it coming, stepped right in front of the intended receiver, and it was cruise time then. Luke Phillips in for the point after. Talk about changing the complexion in one play in a hurry. High snap. They got the placement down. And the extra point's no good. So that high snap didn't help the cause. But the touchdown does. They came out in a three-man line. But look over here. It's a zone coverage. Darren Williams is on the outside. They're going to throw to the next guy in. They're trying to get the ball to this man right here, and Derek Williams right here sees it all the way and makes the play and turns it into six points. Extra point missed, but still it's 24 to nine. Here's another look. Inside receiver, just gonna run a little out. Now when you're a quarterback, when you throw that route, the thing you gotta worry about is just what happened. The corner on the outside, you gotta make sure he turns and goes deep and not sit out there and, and do just exactly what he did. Two bad throws by Jason White, Bob, going back to the end of the second quarter, the field goal they got. Remember Kareem Smith, he threw that yep. one and shouldn't have, and yep. this one, same story. Yeah. The snap was high on the extra point, as I mentioned, and by the time they got it down, Phillips pushed it to the right. Yeah, and you hate that because what it does, you come out the first, but you got some momentum going for the Cowboys, and then, then you, you, you're still stuttering because you got six points. No, you don't have seven. All right. So it's just a momentum thing. And it could change what you do a little bit later on as far as having to go for two and all of that. So touchback again to Jason White, who has a touchdown pass but has two interceptions today. Yeah, and he's only had four coming in for the whole season. So, you know, he's got a, his confidence got to be a little bit shake, shaken because of the, of the interceptions. Well, this will rejuvenate that Oklahoma State defense, you can bet. There's the man that just scored the touchdown, and he'll go out and meet Mark Clayton at the top of the screen. First and 10, Oklahoma. Their lead's been sliced to 24 to 9. They'll go back to the ground game. Ronaldo works. Broke one tackle. Got five. Almost six. Oklahoma's leaders offensively. You can see Jason White is struggling today. Kiwan Jones has been their main weapon. And Clayton has three catches for 41 yards. There's Kiwan. It looks like he kind of wrenched his back a little bit on that play where the holding call was made. And he's trying to loosen it up. Meanwhile, works back in there, the guy that started the game. Second down along four as Ronaldo got about five and a half on that last carry. He'll try it again. Works. Nice seal block. He's got the first down. Stiff arms his way out to the 34-yard line. And a little bit of activity going on on the sideline. If you're Robert Jones or any Oklahoma State guy, if you're going to pick something, do it on your own sideline. You don't want to do it over there with all those guys in crimson and cream. Take a look at the block of the fullback on, on the, the great, the middle linebacker. It's going to be a little draw play right here. He blows him up right there into the hole, and he just jumps to the outside. Again, DeGreat is in there for Paget McGee, that inside running spot. Oklahoma continues to try to run inside. Kyle Hicks, a defensive tackle, <laughs> is, is, is not in the lineup today either. First down. So the penalty on the late hit that sat Ronaldo works way over on the Oklahoma bench is costly for Oklahoma State. Moves it out to the 49-yard line. First down, Oklahoma. It's own 49. No interceptions on their last two possessions. And while momentum hasn't swung completely, it's shifted a little bit to the guys in the orange and white. Works piled up as he crossed midfield.